This is the area we also ripped and that the Jobu ladies are packing the brush packing. So although we had some good rains, um, we still need to pack it just to not to lose any more soil. So all the soil goes through to the river and down somewhere, ending up in the sea. So this is one of the areas that was brush packed um, by our uh, reserve team and Juan will explain to us because you can actually see how the grass is growing. Okay, Juan, explain to us just, you know, what, because there's a lot of nice green grass. Yes, um, thank you Adin. So what we did with the brush packing, the whole purpose of it is to accelerate a natural restoration process. So we pack it quite dense. Um, one of the big reasons is to give the grass saplings an opportunity to grow, as you can see uh, they're uh, quite far. Uh, the ones closest to us, you'll see that uh, there's still a little bit of grazing there. It's because the animals can reach it. So it's sort of accelerating the process now. And um, we're very happy to have the grasses. You'll see the large antelope species like your water buck and kudu still make their way in. But the impala, which is the one we want to keep out, um, is kept out of this specific little system. And the purpose of it is so that the grass can grow and bind the soil and almost get up past the part where, um, where the impala can do damage. So yes, it's just part of our restoration process and we want to continue with, with it just to accelerate the rehabilitation of this specific section. So just to compare, this section was similar to what we're looking here. So basically bare soil, um, very little grass, uh, but not actually grass, just little bushes, your trees, you know, that's been hammered and a lot of the same trees. So just looking at that and the huge improvement of this brush packing, it is very labor intensive. However, this also is creating jobs, um, you know, to, to our community members that comes in, assist us in this brush packing as well. 
and the one in his team side. So this is actually also where the elephant dung has been worked in just to offer a little bit more um, you know to, to, to fertilize the, the soil. Juan, I don't know if you want to to oh, add can, you know on my very basic. We can <laughs> add a little bit. So the, the process we have a few steps. First off Adin showed the barren soil earlier. And the whole purpose is that it forms an impenetrable crust, which isn't good for seed germination, uh, also for water. It doesn't retain water very well. So what we do is we essentially rip the soil in what looks like quite a violent process, but it's just to break that crust. And then we will use the elephant dung as a natural fertilizer. And from there on, we will do the brush packing. And that's when you get the results that we've seen earlier. So still a lot to do, but a huge improvement already.